I was asked to write an article recently for a magazine specifically for young women. <laughs> you might ask yourself, what's a grey-haired guy like me doing writing an article in a magazine for young women? I ended up writing an article called, If I Could Change Just One Thing. Maybe, just maybe, I could share the benefits of some hard-won wisdom with each young reader. So I asked myself, if, if I could change just one thing, what would that be? Well, the answer turned out to be pretty obvious. I spent the first 36 years of my life believing the world's lie that it's all about me. That if I stuff enough money and possessions and experiences and accolades into my life, then I'll be happy. It was a lie that I, like many other young people, swallowed back then hook, line and sinker. I set about clawing my way to success. I had the big car and the big house and the career that was heading very much in the right direction. Hey, the world was my oyster. In fact, it worked so well that I almost took my own life out of the sheer desperation at the emptiness, the utter desolation in my soul. If I could change anything, it would be this, to have discovered much, much earlier on that life is not all about me. That there's another way of living that's far more satisfying than trying to fill yourself with as much stuff and recognition as you possibly can. Acts chapter 20 verse 35, remembering the words of the Lord Jesus, for he himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. If, if I could have my time over one more time, my one desire is that I would discover the powerful truth of that much earlier, far more earlier, that it's much more blessed to give than to receive. That one truth would have saved me from a world of pain and misery. When Jesus came into my life, he started to teach me to give. Now, first I resisted, it was hard, but little by little, he taught me the lesson. He taught me to sacrifice of what I have, of the gifts and the abilities that he's given me. Uh, it was slow progress to begin with because giving was so radically opposed to my ideology of receiving. But then the strangest thing, I started experiencing the satisfaction and contentment that I'd always been yearning for. I, I discovered the joy of using who he made me to be and all that he gave me to bless other people. To this day, the extent of the blessing that I get by giving remains the most surprising thing about becoming a Christian. Who would ever have thought that the satisfaction and the contentment that I'd been yearning for lay so simply in giving rather than receiving? It is more blessed to give than to receive. That's God's word, fresh for you today.